Hello folks, and welcome to a special side LP. Let's play, uh, well, Homeland. This is a game made by a friend of mine who goes by Bakura. He's on uh, RPGMaker.net. And he's uh, kind of learning the program, so he sent me this program, and I'm going to do a fully blind LP of it. He said it's about a half hour long, so nothing too serious. Uh, Portal is... I'm kind of doing this in between Portal because Bandicam has been fucking up so much. I gotta have something that I can upload between episodes because I've been having to replay Chambers three, four times, sometimes even, just to get all the footage I need in a good frame rate. So, uh, this will be going up in days that I don't upload Portal, so hopefully you should enjoy this. Well, uh, option is new game, so let's get started. You are Captain Locke of the Imperial Army. Your longtime enemy, the Dominion, is advancing on your position. The Empire's forces are stretched too thin, and the men you have at your base camp are not enough to stage a proper defensive. However, there are three guilds you can get aid from, a Fighter's Guild, Thieves' Guild, and Mage's Circle. However, the Dominion will arrive in two days, and is a whole day's travel to and from each guild hall. In addition, the morale of your men is very low. Gaining the aid of guilds will increase morale and raise their effectiveness in the final battle. Consult the base commander for more detailed information on the guilds and morale. Good luck. Enter. Select. Escape is cancel and menu. Blah, 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 blah. Shift is dash. Alt, enter for toggle full screen. I already know about full screen because we're running it in full screen. Would you like to hear some gameplay tips? Sure, why not? As a paladin, you have the ability to cast healing magic and the effects of potions when you use them is double. There are two buildings in your base camp. To the left are the command the left is the command office where you can choose which guild to go to, and to the right is the barracks where you can rest and heal. It is recommended that you heal every time you return to base camp. You do not heal automatically after you complete a job for a guild. In your base camp is a quartermaster who can sell you items as well as basic weapons and armor. However, his equipment is not as high quality as what the fighters guild can provide. Huh. Another thing to know. There will be offers made to you. These offers have benefits, however, if you can take it. There is a random chance that a particular guild may learn about it, and if they do, will leave you. Also no, there's a way to get all three guilds, but it's up to you to figure it out how. And finally, you can save at any point in the game. That's a good way to have uh, stuff mess up for you if you can save at any point. And we seem to have the basic uh, character sprite here. This is known as Ralph in the main game. And here he is known as Locke. He's a paladin. Let's see what our skills are. He can heal. That's it. What's his equipment like? Long sword, leather shield, leather breastplate. Okay. Status. Uh, fairly set up. Uh, fairly evenly. He's about halfway to his next level. Starts at level 5. Alrighty. Not sure what any of that means. Hold down shift to run. Uh, let's talk to people. No, not... Oh, yeah, we have items, too. Potions. 500 HP. Antidote. Dispel herb. Which is about uh, three-quarters of his health. Yes, Captain? Tell me about morale. Many of them are starting to believe that this is a hopeless battle. Yes, Captain? Tell me about the guilds. Well, the Fighters Guild can certainly help lessen their numbers among the front ranks. In addition, they can provide us with a Quartermaster that sells us weapons. The thieves will be able to sneak around the army and take out several of the soldiers near the, on the rear flank, where most of their more powerful warriors will be. The mages can provide us with magical artillery fire, which means occasionally the enemy will take damage during combat. The leader of each guild will recruit... recruit you, your recruit will join you at your side during your battle. <laughs> group of criminals. All the same, we need all the help we can get. And the men trust you, Captain, to make the most of the decision, and the group's ultimately most helpful. I know it may be strange, but I'm actually anxious for the battle to begin so we can see just how it plays itself out. I have to say, I'm really curious as to what kind of people these guild leaders are. Alrighty, uh, let's see if there's anything in this corner. No. Anything in these barrels? N nope, nothing here. Talk to me, folk. Want to go over requisitions? We got nothing. Want to go over requisitions? We got nothing. 
you like to spar, Captain? Sure, let's fight. Imperial soldier emerged. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. Attack. 140 damage, holy crap. How much health does this guy have? I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a heal on myself. Ah, damn it! I was hoping I could do that before he killed me, but oh well. Uh, what's this guy say, Captain? Soldier. Okay, that's kind of pointless, but whatever. What do we have in here? A room that we can move anywhere in. And we can move all over the screen. We got swords, that's supposed to be the armory. Go to the Thieves Guild? Not yet. Go to the Major Circle? Not yet. We got swords. Hello there. You need a rest, Captain? Yeah. Yay, stock music! People aren't talking to me, are ya? Z -z 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 -z. I want some feed. I want some chicken feed. Oh. Can we go out this way? No, we can't. Anything in these boxes? Just, uh... Foodstuffs? Anything around this corner? Yeah, um... I generally don't like it when you're able to scroll off to this edge of the screen, because it lets you know that the map stops here. On all my games, I tend to build it so that you always stay in the center of the screen. See, it happens on this side, but when you get on this side, as soon as you get to the edge of the screen, you're able to now move around. I was able to now move around on the side of the screen. So you might want to extend that uh, two more tiles, Joey, or Bakura. And I'll call you Joey. You know your name. It's just your first name. Okay, uh, let's... I guess we gotta go to one of the guilds. Go to the Thieves' Guild. No, I think we'll go to the Fighters' Guild. Ah, they're all dwarves. Hello there. Greetings, Imperial. How goes the war? Wow, a lot of places to sleep here. Again, you wanna, uh, put that two more tiles over. I bet you Imperial soldiers get more comfortable beds than we do. Well, they're made of wood. I like that line. And again, right here. Ooh, and you can go all the way over here. There's an absolutely nothing I fear! Nothing at all? Except maybe snakes. Hakon often says we should sing battle songs in combat. Here's one I came up with. Tell me how it sounds. Tonight we're gonna fight. Tonight... to the... S oh, jeez. Tonight I'm gonna fight till I see the sunlight. Tick tock on the clock, but the battle don't stop. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. That'll strike fear. You need something? You could use some weapons. Oh, you have to hit buy first before you can see the possessions. Alright, what kind of weapons can we get here? Can't afford these, I don't have enough gold. I'd like to go out and grind for... grind enemies, but I don't seem to be able to. Unless I'm missing something. Let's talk to the uh, leader here. It must be the Imperial we were told to expect. I am Hakon, leader of the Fighters Guild. I am Captain Locke. It looks like I'm 12 years old. Aha! I need no business. No need to suck up, boy. I prefer to get right to business. I know you want my men to join your forces. That's good, because we believe in quid pro quo. And it just so happens that there is a matter that I need you, that you could aid us in. And that is, 
Our maiden Mithril Mine has become overrun with undead and killed our miners. A paladin such as yourself could easily clear the mine. Sounds easy enough, I suppose. Of course it is. We simply require you go in, kill as many as possible, and find their Dark Lord. Then steal him away to Oblivion, or whatever it is you paladins do. We begin preparation to join your forces as soon as you return. We will join. We will leave for your base camp. Speak to our quartermaster if you need to purchase any supplies. Our quartermaster will also be at your base camp. So we're gonna have to. So yeah, now we'll be able to fight monsters and level up and everything. Uh, all he has is a leather shield. These would increase his. He does not have a hat yet. A leather breastplate. Get a robe that's worse than we currently have. I guess I'll get a hat since I don't have one. Can I get a better sword than we currently have? I can get a spear or a leather whip, which would deal, which would be stronger than my current than my sword. Hmm. I will get. I will pick up a leather whip because I'm into that nasty stuff. Have to equip it. Oh, hang on. Equip lock with leather whip and feathered hat. There we go. Raises attack and defense just a little bit. And I think uh, we just head out here and we go to war now, right? And I can't talk to him again. Uh, Joe, you might want to set it so he'll say what you can do afterward. Anyway, um, when we continue, I will go out this door and try to find a way to go kill the undead. See you folks next time.